Today's Monday morning message, I want to talk about something deep. So you got to pay a little attention. Stay with me so that you don't lose me. It's going to be a little deep, but it can provide you a whole new insight and a framework of thinking and take you away from worry and take you away from stress and maybe make life a little more joyful. So let's discuss, do we need lyrics? Do we need lyrics? All of us out here probably love music and love songs and we have our own songs that we go to and listen to. But here is an interesting question. Do we need lyrics? What do you think? What do you think? Do we need lyrics in a song for it to be beautiful? Do we need lyrics in a song to interpret it? Do we need lyrics in a song to enjoy it? What do you think? This is what I would say. You see, the lyrics are descriptions, are words that give the song a meaning. For example, there is a tune going on and we add words to it. We add lyrics, descriptions and story and it makes, gives the song a meaning and that is beautiful. I love lyrics. I love powerful lyrics. I love meaningful lyrics and we all love lyrics. Songs are really given meaning by lyrics and lyrics is a beautiful thing. And so, in life, in the music of life, we always face situations. And in those situations, we want to give that beautiful tune of life that's going on. We want to give it words. We want to give it descriptions. We want to tag things so that it's easier for the mind to interpret situations. Yes or no? I'm comparing a song to life and how lyrics are giving the song a meaning. Same way. We use descriptions, we use tags, we use words to describe certain situations in life so that we can give our life intellectual meaning. Yes or yes? But here is an interesting question. Do we need lyrics? I would say at least 90% of the time, 90% of the time when songs have lyrics, it's beautiful. It gives us meaning, it gives us a structure to hold on to and same way in life. 90% of the time, when we tell ourselves stories, when we give something a tag, when we describe something, it's very easy for the mind to interpret what's going on in life and capture it. So it's very helpful for us human beings who thrive on meaning to describe, to tag, to call somebody, hey, that's my friend, to call a certain business situation, this is my struggling phase, to call a certain career situation, I am having a career crisis. It's okay and it gives a framework for the mind to hold on to and help us proceed but the big question is do we always need lyrics and that is where i disagree i think there are those 10 percent situations in life or those 10 percent songs that just the tune of it that just the tune of it is so beautiful and you don't know what lyrics to put into but yet it's beautiful just because of the way we experience it and so, in life, there are those situations. And if you really think about it, you are probably going through one such situation in one area of your life where you can't give it lyrics, where there is no meaning, where there is no description, where you can't tag it. If it's a relationship with a boy or a girl, that's evolving. And you don't know if you're just friends or if it's, or if your boyfriend or a girlfriend or if you're about to marry, you don't know. But it's a certain experience that you're going through. The mind is always looking for a tag and getting worried. What should I call it? What's the description? What's the meaning? But what I'm saying is, it's okay to not give it lyrics sometimes. It's okay for it to just let it flow without giving it a description or a tag. Because that worry of giving it a description and tag takes you away from actually experiencing the beauty and the joy that you're experiencing. Whether it's your career, you're going through a career change. You're going from one career to another. And you start giving it a tag. You're wondering if it's a career crisis, if it's a career move. You're trying to give it a tag. But the tag is not fitting. You don't know what to call it. And it's completely fine to let it be. Let 10% of the situations in your life go without lyrics because just the experience of it is beautiful and you cannot define it and you cannot put words into it. Just the idea of putting words and defining it will make it miserable 
and will create a certain pressure in your mind. So you know what? Do we need lyrics? Yes, lyrics are beautiful. 90% of the situations in life, it's great to define, have a formation, put it in a box. But then there are those 10% situations that we are going through, whether it's your health, whether it's your career, whether it's your relationship, where you cannot define it, where you cannot put a tag to it, where you cannot call it this or that. And it's okay to not give it lyrics. Those 10% situations, it's okay to just let flow. Because if you just let it flow, the experience becomes beautiful and something that you didn't even define before might come out of it. But if you try to put lyrics to it, if you try to define it beforehand and try to capture it mentally, hang on to it, it might spoil the experience of what is and what you're experiencing. So guys, that was a little deep. That was a little deep, but lyrics are beautiful in 90% of the situations, but 10% of the situations, just let it flow. Just let the music be. Don't need to interpret it. Don't need to hold on to it with a description or a categorization. We just need to let it flow, guys. So this week, what is it that one thing in one area that you're trying to define for a long time? You're trying to define and it's stressing you out. I would encourage you this week, just let it be, let the mind be of being in the compulsive habit of always defining something and just let it flow because you don't always need lyrics. Sanmay, what do you think? You are somebody who gives background music, you're a composer, you're a uh, classical yeah. composer. What yeah. do you think about lyrics? Do you always need lyrics in songs? What do you think about this topic? See, see one thing. Uh... I just love poetry and I, I read uh, some of Marathi poets, Hindi poets and I just love uh, lyrics. <laughs> I can't deny that. But uh, at the heart, I'm a musician and I, lo uh, uh, I enjoy the tune. Just like, uh, see, I'm a classical musician. Uh, I, I'm learning Western classical. So I'm more into Mozart, Beethoven and then for classical guitars. Just let me explain with the piece. Okay. Uh, let's, just, let's just do a demonstration kind of thing. I'll, I'll play a piece and in the chat box or you tell me what, what you think about it. What is the scene or uh, where do you want to put it? Or awesome. what do you think about it? This is just a simple piece. It's called Cavitina by John Williams. And uh, Cavitina in Spanish means it's a simple song, simple tune. So how, how a simple me. tune can uh, go further? So this is the cavity now. Let's hear it. There are some bars of Cavitina. So what do you think? That is beautiful. I was, I was imagining a scene where I'm sitting on this grass meadow and the sun is rising and then there are some cattle grazing. <laughs> you know, just a beautiful Sunday morning on the meadows. Yeah, that, that's the beauty. See, uh, if, you, uh, if you have put the lyrics into it, that would be the writer's perspective of the tune. And, and this, this can go anywhere. Uh, See, if you are imagining a cattle farm and something, I was imagining a beautiful morning with uh, some positive things happening or nothing. And uh, uh, music is all about uh, tension and release. So in this piece, uh, you have uh, in, in music, there's a constant question and answer going on. See, for example. 
this is a question so this is a uh, opening answer again question <laughs> tension answer release question goes this way what a beautiful way to explain it then my because that's what happens in life when we don't have lyrics when we cannot define something there are these situations there is a question and an answer and you're mm. going through life like that when you can't define something from before there's a question there is an answer there's a question there is an answer there is a question there is an answer there is a question there is an answer just like the tune of life yeah and sometimes it's okay to let just enjoy the tune and make your own meaning as it goes rather than have a preconceived notion and define it what yeah. you said is beautiful you played a song i thought of something else you thought of something else somebody else could I have thought of a ring or something else <laughs> a completely exactly you can uh, think of completely dif- different on also uh, like this is a happy tune someone uh, someone must have conceived as a sad tune or depressed tune or whatever it depends on <laughs> their uh, notion of that moment or their emotion at that particular moment so it's uh, undefined territory you can go anywhere that is That's amazing that what, what, what a great share what a great share would you like to play one more piece for us yeah this one is one second i have to retune it so guys for everybody listening until tanmay plays a new song we usually always looks for lyrics in the song but let's close our eyes and just try to pay attention to the tune let's start practicing it already without lyrics how can we enjoy the tune so let's focus on that and listen to tanmay's next piece so this is caprico arbe by francisco tarrega and uh, one of my most favorite pieces to play and uh, you just don't enjoy while listening it you enjoy 100 times better when you play it so <laughs> that's the beauty of guitar see this is the instrument this is the most closest to me so i can feel every vibration of it Wow. along with the emotions and along with everything what has written so this is capricorn bay i am playing the sum of uh, middle bars only can go it's a long piece wow piece. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty that's beautiful then my what a beautiful share and a beautiful perspective into how we can go through certain situations and relating it to lyrics and tune in the music what, what would you yeah, like to say yeah. at the end uh, i'll end up with a classical example of this uh, it's a story kind of thing it's, it is with beethoven uh, i've heard somewhere and so there was a girl a cute little girl and she, uh, she was blind and with her is composer obviously so she asked ki i want to see a moon but she is blind she has never seen anything she has never experienced any color or any uh, anything with any visual thing so she wanted to see a moon so bithun has composed the piece called moonlight sonata just to describe the moon in the music so if you listen to it the uh, it is on piano so if you listen to it you will get get it it's a beautiful wow. story and beautiful composition also it's a wow. simple composition but uh, you'll feel every emotion of it and how to describe the moon and because she is yeah haven't seen anything any circular thing or anything just uh, a uh, blank black thing was 
and he has described the moon with everything how light and uh, just with sorry. just with the tune and just with just the music with the tune, just with the music <sighs> guys so look at that what to, a story uh, i'll suggest everyone to listen to it it's really moonlight cool. sonata moonlight so guys sonata from beethoven what a beautiful story tan mai thank you so much for coming this monday morning and sharing a beautiful story a message and your beautiful tunes thank you so much for being part of the show are thank you guys 90% of situations you need to describe put things in boxes and it gives the mind a framework but 10% of situations in life it's okay to just let it flow without trying to describe it whether it's a career whether it's a health process that you're going through whether it's a relationship that's evolving just let it be 10% let's go over the tune and forget about the lyrics tan mai lately shared that beethoven he described the whole moon with tune without lyrics to this beautiful girl who is blind let's enjoy that i'm going to go listen to moonlight sonata right now by beethoven just like tan mai shared and i will see you guys next monday same time same location with a new message so this week whatever you're trying to define whatever stressing you out because you can't define it just let it be and just enjoy the music without the lyrics of life because sometimes life that's how it's beautiful